Alright, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, and welcome to Celestian Tales, Old North. This is a game that I picked up on Steam quite a while ago, and I finally decided to play. Character selection. Who looks coolest? You have an axe. You are automatically the coolest. Alright, I don't feel like reading all this. So, prologue, the warrior. What is this going to be about? This is not an RPG maker game. I believe this was made in Unity, but... What could have caused such carnage? From the looks of the uh, the trailer and stuff, it's going to play similarly to an RPG Maker game. Alright. Bear Eaters. How can you tell, young master? Tracks. Only one beast in Dawn Judge leaves this kind of track. Those are like giant claw prints. Alright, look at the size of this thing. They didn't name it Bear Eater for nothing. I have to say, the walking animation really looks kind of funny. Young Master, the beast! The beast took my child! No doubt defeat its young. We should give chase, Young Master! No. No? No. Go back to the fort and inform my father about this. Tell him to bring the archers. But Young Master, it's too late. We'll lose track of it. We won't. I'll go ahead and slow it down. Alone, Young Master? Yes, alone! Now go! What are we going to say to Lord Gaston if something happens to you? Say that I am an unworthy son who couldn't even slow down to one lousy bear eater. Now go! That's an order! Jump. Alright. Again, it looks more like they slide around more than walk around, but it went out to the northern exit, my lord. Heh. You stay here, old lady. I'll bring your child back. Alright, so I can walk around. I am not confined to a grid, which is cool. What happens if I run out this way? Alright, so the game is going to tell me to run the other way. Can I enter these houses? No. Can I talk to you? Eek! Oh, Deus, you started me. Please don't stand over there. The barrier might notice and come here. Alright, I don't see why my presence has anything to do with it, but sure. Uh, what does old lady have to say? Nothing interesting. <clears throat> What's this, uh... Is this doghouse? Have anything, anything of importance? No? Okay. It looks like a doghouse anyway. So, oh, look, there's a lot of people. Can I talk to a lot of people? Okay, so they're just telling me about bear eaters. That's nice. You! How's De La Fore? For it. I assume it's supposed to be pronounced like... Not what I said. Either of what I said. But... Sure. Alright, I'm still getting hung up on De La Fort or whatever it's called. So! I cannot go this way. That is upsetting. I also can't go in these houses, which is also upsetting. Um, so as I usually say when I, okay, take care of yourself, take care of yourself too. Um, as I usually try and say about games from Steam that I play, I don't know a whole ton about this. I just picked it up because it looked mildly interesting on a Steam sale one day, many years ago. And I'm finally getting around to play, playing it. So let's see, hitting A next to this, uh, this thing. Alright, so you... I'm going to take a wild guess that if I run into you, I can initiate an RPG battle. Because this game was classified as an RPG. Alright, so we've got a time-based system, is it? Not a real time-based, but like a turn order time-based thing. Our juvenile wolf. That wasn't too bad. Do I get experience and stuff fighting that? It didn't say so. I know I shouldn't jump to conclusions like that. If it doesn't say so. Uh, this, it looks like I should not be able to walk over this, but I can. So that's a little detail. I don't know if anybody else thinks it looks like I shouldn't be able to walk over that. It's rather artistic. It's more, uh, after I play a lot of RPG Maker games, not a lot of RPG Maker games, but a fair number. And, um, this is definitely, uh, more artistic than I'm used to seeing in RPGs. And, uh, I also have been making an effort to play more of the DS RPGs, like, um, Dragon Quest and what have you. And uh, obviously this is much more uh, detailed than a Dragon Quest game on the DS. Now, can I sneak past you? Would it be wise for me to sneak past you? I don't think so. I'm going to fight every battle. Hello. I'm going to fight every battle because that's usually how these games are balanced. Let's go out this way. And... Hello. I'm still getting no word of experience or anything like that, which is interesting. Um, let's see. Is there anything this way? I'm also... Uh, I'm like three maps in and I haven't found any treasure chests yet, which is mildly upsetting. Let me see. It's not uh, game-breakingly upsetting, but 
My explorer instincts are complaining that I have not found any treasure chest or anything of that nature yet. Can I... Alright, I don't really know where I have to go. Ooh, look. Effects in the water. Oh, hello. Let me see. Yeah, there's like... Particles in the water. Unity 2D. Gotta love it. Anyway. I'm gonna try and keep an eye on my, uh, my HP level and see if that gradually goes up. Continuously. Or... Oh, come on. Like, there should definitely be a treasure chest or something here. Speaking of treasure, though, what happens if I hit the start button? Nothing happens if I hit the start button or select Y. Okay, so Y brings up the party menu. Inventory. There's, uh... No. Go back. Inventory. Okay, so I can scroll through with the uh, Xbox bumpers. Um... I have nothing of anything. Oh, I have a hatchet and a wooden plate. But that's it. And none of those are things that I found off the ground. Or in battle or anything like that. Um, options, save and load. Anyway, this is my, uh, my status. Renard. Renard. I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, French or something. It looks... It looks, like, very lightly French. And I don't know French, so I'm probably completely wrong about that. Let's get out of here. Now... Let me see... Did I hear water splashes? Splish splash? I do. That's nice. Here's another battle. Ooh, look, we got two enemies this time. Okay. Okay. Now let's come up this way. No treasure chests. Why? Upsetting. Ooh, look. This is a save point. So can I save? I might as well because I'm here. Um, so can I save, like, on the overworld or in the, uh, the Y menu. Is there actually a save option, or is this just... Oh, I can't save. That's important. Why is it called save slash load, then? If I can only save, and... Is that, like, Z-fighting? I feel like that's Z-fighting. Never mind the Z-fighting. Help, it's gonna eat me! Don't worry, kid, I got this. Let's do this, beast! Oh, that's my line! See if I can kill you before everyone gets here. Alright, let's do this, beast! Now, let's see, um, do I have any skills? I have Wild Axe. That takes two of these STA points things. Ooh, that did more damage than the regular attack. So you're going to defend. I'm just going to do this again. And I have been noticing that it seems like, ah, uh, it seems like I'm poisoned, aren't I? Every turn I get another one of these STA points. Oh, really? Is that all? That was supposed to be like a boss battle. That's nice of you. Clearly, clearly the archers weren't necessary. You came yourself. You hear my oath of a son charge the bear eater down on the stone? I can't just sit around waiting, can I? As you can see, I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. Really, I can see your armor took a lot of damage. Tell me, did you get it in the balls? Deus, no. Good. I still want grandchildren. Now if my brutish heir would follow me back to the village, we can dress those wounds. Wait, father. We should bring this beast back with us. Huh? What for? You haven't had lunch, have you? Ah ha ha, my son the butcher. Fine, bring the bear eater, boys. Seriously, what kind of a boss battle was that? Go ahead, men. I want to have a word with my son first. You know the reinforcements wouldn't make it in time, didn't you, boy? <laughs> what do you mean, father? Lying isn't something you're good at, Renard. You sent the men away because you wanted to take on the beast alone, didn't you? That I did, and I won. Why would you do such a foolish thing? Do you want people to tell stories of your bravery? Is that what this is about? I want people to know my name, to be renowned as a warrior. Look at you, still thinking that the warrior's way is the only way. It's the way I choose, and it can only take you so far. You have the age to be a knight, Renard. It's time for you to start your squirehood. Becoming a squire will teach you many things. Among others, you'll learn about the responsibilities of being a noble. Good. Send me to the Durandals. 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 They'll teach me how to be a knight. No. Not whatever they're pronounced as. In which house? The villain? Don't make me do this. Ha. Huh. You becoming a paladin? I'd sooner should have gold than see that happen. It'll be neither then. I'll, I'll be sending you to House Levant. What? 
You'll have me serve a sickly weakling who can't even wield the sacred sword of his house. Watch your tongue, silly boy. Lord Levon is a fair and just ruler. House Levon is the most wealthy and prosperous among the three bear blade bearers. Bear bladers, blade whatevers. I don't want to be a merchant, father. I want to be a general. My boy, there's more to being a knight than fighting and warfare. An army is merely a tool for the welfare of the people. Lord Levon Levant. Levant. I'm getting lazy with the last T. Someone who understands that. I'll show you how to rule, to, to make sure the realm never lacks resources and always remains safe. But you were never a merchant. The old house light of Ford is a warrior. You protected Old North from beasts and outlaws with nothing but your sword arm. I won't deny that fighting is important, Renard, but I'll tell you this. One day you'll understand that strength will not last. You'll see that the legacy of might is one that cannot stand the test of time. And what will? A legacy of wisdom, kid. That's what'll last. I can see in your eyes that you doubt my words, but that's to be expected of the young. You believe that in your few years of living you'll you've already grasped the world of the, the truth of the world, the world of the truth. I know that feeling. I was once like you too. So why did you change, father? Everyone changes with time. For some it's because of romance, for others duty. And you? For you, Bernard. I changed because I wanted the best for you. I want I want you to have more in life than this backwater land and this corner of the realm. A life of more than just swinging axes and being a killer, son. I'll write the letter to Lord Elaine. Prepare yourself a journey to Levantine. Fine. Alright. That's a pretty picture. Majestic, isn't it, sir? It's no far blade. Aye, it's not, sir, and it never will be. But because of its location, Levantine is said to be the strongest fortress in the Old North, yet ruled by a merchant. By Lord Elaine, yes, you can say he is a merchant. Under his rule, Levantine has grown to be the biggest and most prosperous city in the realm. Is Lord Elaine, if, is Lord Elaine really so great that commoners and nobles alike, alike speak highly of him? Perhaps you'll soon see for yourself why they call him Elaine the Wise, sir. Hmm. To think I can be serving under the lioness or be a member of the White Cavalry. I'm sorry, sir. Did I see something wrong? No, it's not your fault. Just leave me alone for now, would you? As you wish, sir. If you'll excuse me. Okay. I like to see of wisdom rather than of strength. Can I truly build one? Well, we'll find out in this game, I suppose. Is this going to be like opening credits or something? I did not catch a word of what they were singing, but it sounded exciting, all right. Anyway, chapter one, a night's training. I'm going to leave this off here, so for now, I hope you'll enjoy that. My name is Dragonite, and in the next part, we'll be continuing on with Celestian Tales Old North. 
We'll see you all later.